Hello everyone and welcome to my bar. My name is Ansel Birch, the Indecisionist, and I will be your dungeon barkeep today. And I have a special guest here today because we're in his bar. This is the Capstan Bar here. Do uh, you want to introduce yourself, Dean? Hi, I'm Dean Callen. I'm with Bounding Maine. This is my maritime theme bar, and Ansel is taking over for today for yeah. his marvelous show. Uh, yeah, and we've got we've got a little bit of a live audience, not just in our uh, folks watching at twi on Twitch at home, but uh, it's so nice to have actual human beings in the room while I'm doing this. <laughs> uh, Visit so Visiting us today is David H.B. Drake, a Milwaukee-based folk singer for the last 40 years. All right, so what do you say, Dean? Do you want to make a drink? Oh, me? Yeah, well, together. All together. right, all right. We'll, Let's I'll help. Drink. Don't worry. We'll, we'll we'll figure it out. I think we've got things to make it with. We we certainly do. We have propane. <laughs> you, never, <laughs> you never know when you might need propane in a cocktail. Uh, yeah, you got quite the collection of stuff back here. So I'm, I'm excited to crack <laughs> into it. So let's go ahead and uh, and get started with uh, with a dice roll. Uh, all right. So the first thing we're gonna do is choose a uh, mixer from the rack over here. We're gonna do that with a D6. So we got a five. So we started with the uh, tonic. So one, two, three, four, five. We're up to seltzer. All right, so plain old seltzer, nothing, uh, nothing exciting here. Very good. All right, so now we need to pick a couple liquors. So we're gonna start with a D10. And that's gonna choose the, the row here. And then a D6 to choose how far back in the row we're going. So we're going to two and six. So, did I do that right? One, yeah. two, three, four, five. Yep, all right. <laughs> sour apple pucker. That's gonna be good. Sweet and sour schnapps. All right, S sour apple schnapps. What could go wrong? Uh, but we, got, we can't just have soda water and sour apple schnapps. That would be edible. <laughs> That's the chance of being <laughs> decent. Uh, all right, so let's go with another liquor. We, oh, uh, we ended up with a double, an extra D6. We're going to just discount that one. So we got a 10 and a 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so with 10, what I usually do, 10s explode. So we're going to do two. We're going to get two for our money on this one. So we got a four and a four. And then let's see, six and six. All right. So we're in rank four. We got one and four. Cherry brandy and gin. All right. All right. Uh, so we're, we're making a fruit salad is what we're doing wow. here. Uh, I, I, uh, <laughs> I question our sanity, Dean. Uh, Doctor, are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, let's, let's go ahead and do it. There's nothing to do but do it. I'm going to go ahead and shake this one. There. So what do you think, Dean? Of the things we've got here... What do we want our dominant flavor to be? I think the sour apple's got to be the dominant flavor. Yeah? So we want the sour apple to be our dominant flavor. So let's go ahead and do a full ounce of the sour apple. And then we'll do half ounces of the gin and the, sh the brandy. What do you say? Sounds good. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it sounds good. Well, <laughs> it's, scientifically it's, speaking, it seems fair. Sounds like a plan. All right, so there's our sour apple pucker. Here's our gin. God, it's good gin, too. Real pity. I'm sorry, gin. All right. We ended up with uh, a little bit over a half ounce of gin on that one. And finally... I had to wrestle with that one. Some cherry brandy. You've done heroic work here today, Gene. <laughs> Uh, there we go. All right. And a little bit over a half ounce of cherry brandy. So, all that's left is to shake this. So, let's cut over to the neutral cam. All right.
All right. The tin's nice and cold. The ice is broken up. I'm going to call that good enough. You did that awfully close to your head. I did. I did. Well, because you want to hear the ice. Uh, what do you say? Let's grab a... Let's grab another low ball. What do you think? Martini glass? Sure. You haven't used one yet. All right. So we're going to... Right. We're here. So let's go ahead and pour this in. Well, that's a color. <laughs> That's a color. And last is to top with our seltzer water. I'm going to call that... Like four ounces. Hmm. Wow, it clarified it. How interesting. Okay. Okay. So that's um that's what we've got so far. There's nothing swimming in it. Nothing swimming, yeah. So uh what do you think? What do we call this, Dean? Let's go ahead and roll a D20 to pick a name. Alright, we got a two, which on the names chart is Stealth Check! Well, well, it's clear. Yeah, you can't see it. You can't see it. Uh, you you could mistake this for a real cocktail. <laughs> One might be forgiven for thinking this is a real thing that people drink on purpose. All right, make sure you can see Dean here. Um, we we've got. Let's see. Looks like a ghost. Magical. Uh, Julia says uh, nice. Quilting Dancer says, with how it turned clear, that makes perfectly good sense. Yeah, I, I think so too. What do you say? You want to grab a straw and, and uh, what is it? What's the uh, like 50s milkshake this thing? There we go. All right. So how is It's like a cardboard box. <laughs> A cardboard box that you stored a fruit salad in. <laughs> that, um... Okay, that's an experience. Huh. Phillips called it cardboard Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> from from the, the live audience yeah, in the room, we got... So it's a cardboard Miranda. <laughs> Uh, quilting dancer says your straws are perfect. By the oh, way. Oh, good. <laughs> um, okay, so what did what just happened there? What just happened? So we've got the. You can definitely taste the apple. Uh huh. The apple is definitely present. The cherry, I feel, completely disappeared. Yeah, it's uh. Well, you got a little bit. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just you find it in your mouth. Um, the gin, I'm sad to say, also disappeared, disappeared yeah. which, I mean, to be expected, we specifically leaned hard into the sour apple schnapps. But what's weird is all we got was muted sour apple schnapps. <laughs> like, no, it, none of the flavor it, of the very gin stealthy, or the cherry. Very yeah, stealthy. Very stealthy. Sneaky, sneaky sour apple schnapps. Uh, someone, someone threw a fruit at you from a long distance, and it just like bumped you. It didn't hurt, but it like it hits you, and you're like, "Oh, hey, an apple." This is like a potion of invisibility that you would take, <laughs> and it just gives you a little apple sense so that your party members know where you are. Oh, I love that. I love the idea of a potion of invisibility with a tell. <laughs> like, we went to the like discount potion guy. And like, you're gonna be mostly invisible. And he's like, what, what do you mean mostly invisible? Well, it smells like you, apples. No one will see you, but you will smell lightly of apples. <laughs> you go. Well, I guess that's good enough. Um. 
I mean, it's delightfully fizzy. Uh, I'll say that for it. Uh, the seltzer water did improve it, I want to say. Like, that was probably a good choice. Uh, and by choice, I do mean accident that happened to <laughs> us. Um, wow. Okay, so how does this fit into an adventure? I, I think we kind of already nailed it. This is this is a discount potion of stealth. Clearly. Because uh, it's clear. Uh. Ah. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like this is... I like the idea of a discount potion guy. Mm -hmm. I think that that's a really cool idea that you've come up with. The idea of, of this, like, potion master in town. You go to him because his potions work mostly. And they're cheap, like, probably, what, 100 gold pieces yeah. cheaper than the other proper potion person. What have we got together? Well, I got six. I got 12. Okay. Uh, Total, we got 100. So you get the potion of, like, nearly healing. <laughs> Like, it, it won't make you better, but it'll make you feel better. Right. This won't make you invisible, but it'll make you... Or it won't make you disappear entirely, but it will make you invisible, save for the scent of apple. Um, I This is a really cool idea. I want this character in my... I'm, if, if any of my players are watching, don't be surprised when the discount potion guy shows up. So there's guards sitting there, and is it, one of them sits up and says... Do you, Do you smell apples? apples? <laughs> <laughs> we know this one. <laughs> Before their shift, they all smell an apple just to be like, all right, that's what we're looking for. <laughs> Guards in town all have dogs for this exact reason, so this they can smell no, you No, they coming. probably have pigs. Oh, pigs. <laughs> that's a much... Yep, you're, you're right, yep. Oh, I love this fantasy town now. <laughs> okay, we got this the town with the guards that all have just pigs for smelling <laughs> your apple scent. Do you have your guard dogs? Because it's just an arms race, pigs. right? Like, okay, <laughs> you got the guy in town that smells apple, sells apple invisibility potions. All right, you got to have pigs. <laughs> then what happens? What, okay, so now I've changed the formulation. <laughs> now you're going to smell like black currant. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a fabulous idea. Well, all that being said, friends, uh, thank you so much for joining us and for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all the things that YouTubers tell you to do. Check out uh, Dean's Kickstarter. Uh, until next time, drink adventurously. Get the pigs. <laughs> Victory. All right. <laughs> Hello, I'm David H.B. Drake. And I'm Dean Callen. And we're singers of folk songs, sea shanties, and the music of the seven seas. And we want to invite everyone to explore the wide world of maritime music. There's so much out there that people haven't heard. It's not just music that's in pirate movies or TV shows. There's actually a living genre all across the world that celebrates maritime music. The Maritime Music Directory is a treasure map where you can find all sorts of information on the musicians, on the festivals, on the folks who make this music happen and keep it alive. If you need information about the bands, the festivals, the solo acts, everything that you could want to know about this genre of music, is going to be available in one place so that people can easily find everything that they need.